Kissinger started off as, as a Rockefeller Republican, you know, a liberal Republican, uh, an advisor to Nelson Rockefeller, who thought Nixon was far out of, of the mainstream and a dangerous sociopath, I think, as he put it. And yet when Nixon won, and he actually helped him win by, by scuttling a, a peace deal with, with North Vietnam, uh, he made his peace with Nixon and, he, and, and then he went on you know, into, pub, into public office. And he thought Reagan was too extreme, and, and yet he made his peace with Reagan. Then he thought the neocons were too extreme, and he made his peace with the neocons. Then he even made his peace with Donald Trump. He called Donald, he, he celebrated Donald Trump almost as a kind of embodiment of his, his theory of, 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 of a great statesman and being able to, to craft reality as they, as they want to through their will. So you see Kissinger, as the country moves right, you see Kissinger moving with it. So just that trajectory is, is, is very useful to think with. You also, if you also think about his bomb, the secret bombing of Cambodia yeah. and then trace out that bombing, it's like a, a bright light, you know, a trace of red running from Cambodia to, to the current endless war on terror. What, what was considered illegal, I mean, Kissinger bombed Cambodia in secret because it was illegal to bomb another country that you weren't at war with in the 1960s and 1970s. His his, his um, old colleagues at Harvard, who were all cold warriors, none of them peace liberals, marched down to, to, to Washington. They didn't even know about the bombing. They went to protest the invasion of Cambodia. And, and now, uh, you know, it is just considered... A, a, a fact of international law that the United States has the right to bomb countries that third 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 party countries that we're not at war with that gives safe haven to terrorists. It's just considered it's just considered commonplace. So you can see this evolution and drift towards endless war through Kissinger's life.